Welcome to the On The Go podcast with Paul Ibarra, dropping daily inspiration as he's on the go. You can connect with him on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Now, let's get started. Men, how do we speak to our spouses, our girlfriends, or even the women that are in our atmosphere every single day of life, whether it's your job, your business, your ministry, shopping, or even the way that we view women. How do you view them? And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because in the last 24 hours, I was in a, in a, uh, disagreement with my wife. Let's just, let's just call it what it is. It was an argument. And the way that I spoke to her was not very spouseful, if I could be honest. It's not the way that a spouse should talk to another spouse. It's not the way that a man should talk to his woman. And as I was praying and driving to work, because that's what I'm doing right now, I began to pray and listen to what the Lord was telling me and it goes back to the places in life where our relationship with either our mothers some type of mom figure some type of woman figure in our life that sometimes just may cause us to revert back to that emotional sense in our minds what do I mean by that I'm glad you asked. The way that we view our mothers, the way that we view our aunts, the way that we view our grandmas, the way that we view our older sisters or or just women in general. Maybe there's been some scarring in our lives. Maybe there was a relationship, an intimate relationship that you have been involved in and that woman totally wrecked your world. And the emotional attachment that is in your life to that circumstance, to that situation, to that relationship has caused a tainted way of viewing women from that point forward. Maybe there was some abuse as a child from your mother. Maybe there was verbal abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, the emotional detachment, or maybe there was some defiance between you and your father and you saw the way that your father treated your mother and so you just tend to treat women that way and that's what God began to speak to me and started downloading in my life in my mind and in my spirit this morning that the way that I view my wife is the way that I view women in general the Bible talks about women to wives to submit to their husbands but it also says to submit men to submit to Christ as well because Christ laid down his life for the church and so we ought to be laying our lives down for our wives and so in this mind shift in this mindset this morning as I'm driving to work I begin to look back and I think you know My mom did the best that she could. She did the best that she could with what she was given. There was some dysfunctionality in her life, in her way of living, in her way of raising us. And along the way, we became a broken home and broken kids and broken situations caused the home to be broken. And so... As I look back at that and I look at all my aunts and I look at my uncles and I see the dysfunction, I see the generational curses that have been in our in our bloodline, in our families. It's time that I as a man, as a pastor, to view not only women but people in a different way. And so I just want to encourage you today to really dig down deep if you're in a place in a relationship or you've been single for so long that you don't know how to converse 
with someone else. Number one, take the principle of the word of God where it says, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but treat those the way that you want to be treated. Do unto those the way you would want them to do unto you. The Bible says to love your brother. Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your brother. And upon these things, those two things, those two principles, that's what the law and the prophets hang on. So we can do all the other things. We can do outreaches. We can minister. We can be in the pulpit. We can preach and we can do this and we can do that. But if we don't have love in our hearts, the truth is far from us. And so as I am driving to work right now, and hopefully this is all making sense to you as men, understand that the principle in life of life is to love. And if we are down talking and downgrading our spouses, downgrading is even making them feel stupid. Even though our, t- our intention isn't to do so, but if we make them feel a certain way, then we as men need to address that. It's time for us to man up. It's time for us to be the king's men. It's time for us to have a different perception of what our women are and of who they are and whose they are. They're a gift from God to us, guys. They're a gift, whether you're married or not. A woman is a gift. Whether it be your mother, your spouse, a friend that is a female, they are a gift. So I hope this has blessed you today. I pray that you would take this word and dwell on it and just know that God is going to take care of everything in our lives but we also have to take care of the things that he has entrusted us with and that goes down to friendships relationships emotionally mentally spiritually physically we need to tend to those things that god has entrusted us with so once again this is pastor paul your life recovery coach reach out to me if you need me at setfreelife.net and i'll see you on the next podcast